The computer system post office spent an arm and a leg on is faulty. A new TV drama has renewed pressure to compensate hundreds of former post office workers who were wrongly prosecuted for stealing company money due to an IT error. No one else has ever reported any problems with Horizon. The post office installed a new software called Horizon in branches across the country in 1999 in a bid to improve efficiency. But as a result of the glitchy new software, it led to incorrect financial discrepancies. Looking for someone to blame, more than 700 postmasters were prosecuted between 2000 and 2014 by the post office. They had been accused of fraud and theft with devastating consequences for some. No amount of compensation can return us the 20 years of hell we have gone through. Only my wife and I know it. How we have struggled in these 20 years. We have worked so many hours for a petty amount of money. There's still a number of people who are at post office who were involved throughout the period of the real troubles that we've had with. Um, and those certainly need to be brought to account to start with. And then I think we also need to be looking at um, those who were involved in, 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 in the past. This is Alan Bates. He lost his life savings and a job as a result of the scandal. He is the focus of the new ITV drama, Mr. Bates vs. the Post Office, where he is portrayed by British actor Toby Jones. Ready to tell our stories. So, what was Horizon and why was it a scandal? The IT system was used to manage transactions, stock taking and accounts, but sub-postmasters and mistresses complained the system was faulty after noticing shortfalls in the company accounts. Despite numerous complaints, no action was taken by the Post Office. So cash shortages continue to run into the thousands on the accounts of branches across the country. And so the fault with the Fujitsu accounting technology made it look as though money had been stolen when it hadn't. This led to some workers using their own money to balance the books. And in 2000, the post office started to take legal action against sub postmasters using Horizon data as evidence. The post office became aware of a fault in 2010. But by 2014, 736 workers had been criminally prosecuted. The sub-postmasters and their supporters have always protested their convictions, mainly as part of the Justice for Sub-Postmasters Alliance campaign group. Many then sued the post office with the company agreeing to settle with 555 victims, with Alan Bates being one of them after 20 years of campaigning. It's a stunning victory for the claimant group. We, w we couldn't be more happy with the judgment from the court. Um, this has been the result of many years' work um, to achieve justice for over 550 people. This result paved the way for reconsideration of victims' convictions via the Criminal Cases Review Commission. But of the more than 700 postmasters that were convicted, fewer than 100 have had their convictions quashed, and not all of those affected have received full compensation. One of the 500 and so brought the original case has received full financial redress and despite promises by ministers they wanted the majority of cases to be resolved by now and not one has been totally, uh, totally resolved. Currently there is an ongoing independent public inquiry into the Horizon IT scandal which was established in September 2020. Since the release of the ITV drama, 50 new potential victims are believed to have approached lawyers. Elsewhere, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has condemned the scandal as an appalling miscarriage of justice following viewers' outrage and is under pressure to ensure justice and compensation for those affected. This has been an appalling miscarriage of justice, an appalling treatment of all the people affected, and it's right that they get the redress that they deserve. That's why the government has put in place three different compensation schemes that have already paid out almost £150 million to thousands of people who are affected, and we're keen to go as quickly as possible. There are interim payments available of up to £600,000 to get support to people who, who need it quickly. Uh, and of course, as I said previously, everyone who thinks that they ha should have a claim must come forward, talk to the authorities so we can get their claims processed as quickly as possible. More broadly, the Justice Secretary is also looking at other options for how we can provide uh, support for people. I can't preempt those findings, but we're keen to do everything we can because this was absolutely appalling. It should never have happened. We don't want it to happen again, and that's why we're working very hard to make it right. The Metropolitan Police also confirmed that it is investigating the post office over potential fraud offences after the hack.